If this song does not slap nostalgia in your face, literally, I don't know what will. So, this is the El Dorito mod. Halo Online is what you're going to actually see. And you can see it's on the bottom is 0.6 update. Now, there was some controversy about this whole thing going to stop. And I already got started on the game already. But, I've just been loving this game nonstop. This is the game that I was talking about before. If people don't know what Halo is. Which, I'm really surprised if you don't know what Halo is. But, this is a mod for the online version that was originally like exclusive for Russia that Microsoft shut down and a few coders ended up managed to hack into the game and make it functioning. So I just want to show you guys a few games that I ended up having, a few fun moments. This is just, again, this is just hitting me with nostalgia. I was playing this non-stop and every time I kept on playing it I was thinking like okay this is my last game. Okay after this, this is my last game. And there's only a few games that could actually do that to me but I just want to show you guys some fun clips of some really good games. Unfortunately, I did record some footage before that, but the audio was kind of messed up and I'm not really using Shadow Play when it comes to this, so I had to switch back to OBS. But this is just like a lot of fun moments. And here is going to be kind of funny because in this game, this is when everyone in the lobby realized, oh, wait, you can sprint. Because, yeah, you can actually sprint in this game, which a lot of people tend to think it kind of breaks Halo formula. I don't know, it kind of it flows together. I don't know why Sprint seems to feel okay in this, but it doesn't feel alright when it comes to other Halos. I guess it's just because the maps aren't so big. These This map was built for like not to have Sprint like included into the game, but I don't know. They didn't bother extending the map to compensate for Sprint. So it kind of, it's, it's like a, a clusterfuck, I guess you can say. But... They use the original, like, the Halo 4 art styles, which you could already pretty much notice, like the Halo 4 Battle Rifle. I'm not a fan of these weapons, I'll be honest. The only thing I'm probably, like, okay with is the beefy look of the Assault Rifle. That's about it. And the sound effects, they also use that. Now, another thing that you may end up noticing if you do try to, uh, to try out the El Dorito mod, which it is free. Yeah, I backed out of that gunfight. It is free. It's free to download, so you're, you're welcome to try out the game. It's really, really good. You have nothing to lose. And I don't know, you just gotta get used to the control uh, control scheme, because it is a pretty awkward layout. But, this is just, I'm loving this so much. I'm really loving this a lot. I'm using the recon armor, and you can bet they have all the armor unlocked. You can even have the flaming skull on, which is pretty cool. I'm trying to remember, I don't know when it was the moment that I realized that you can sprint. It was like later on throughout the game, I know. At least got that kill. But yeah, in the uh, the footage that I had before this was like a really good game of Griff Ball. If you don't know what Griff Ball is, it's basically... It, imagine football. It, it has football rules, but it is way more intense than that. It was a real fun game, but... Yep, this is the El Dorito mod. I'm going to leave you guys with a few clips. Well, I'm going to leave you guys with this game and also a few clips of just the fun moments that I actually had with this game. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Slayer. 